All right, guys, I've had tons of messages and emails asking me um, how to do the return spring after you've pulled the governor out. So I'm just going to do this short vid to show you how to do it. It's a lot easier than you think. Um, the problem is once you have taken the governor, uh, disconnected the governor, removed that governor wheel, when you start the engine, it's going to run wide open because the governor is not there to bring it back to uh, uh, back to no throttle. This arm here is what controls your throttle on your carburetor, provided you're using the stock uh, linkage. And if we take a look here, you'll see that as I'm moving this arm, it actually moves the throttle on the carburetor. So what happens is you take that governor wheel off, the engine fires, and it goes to wide open because there's nothing there to tell it to come back to, to an idle. And that's what we're going to fix here today. All right, so here's your external governor arm. The internal governor arm is the one that you had to uh, move out of the way in, in order to get the gear off. We're only going to be dealing with this external uh, governor arm. You'll notice that there are holes all around it. All we're going to do is we're going to pick one of those holes to put our spring on, and then you got to put a, a spot to put the other end of the spring, and we're good to go. We're just going to use a second hole just because I happen to like it there. And this screw right here is the one that we're going to take out for the other end of our spring. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it off real quick here. Okay, I'll just do that by hand. Set this back up here. Alright. On the forum I've posted some pictures uh, of the springs that I used. Any uh, lightweight governor return spring will be fine, such as this one here. Now this spring started out to be about that long as you'll see in the pictures on the forum. I went ahead and shortened it down. It's real simple. Take one end and stick it in the hole there like that and then the other end which I've been around to go around this bolt is going to go in here okay let me go ahead and tighten that down and this will clear the uh, the gas tank and everything so you won't have any issues in that regard all right tighten that back up now if you look at the spring over here you'll notice that'll pull the arm back for you it's that simple and this will use your stock throttle linkage and then you've got something to pull you back to idle and then you're good to go that's all there is to it if you want to see the uh, the still pictures of the pieces that I used just sign up over at buggymasters.com and there's a go-kart engine tech section where, and that is where I will post the uh, these pictures at. Uh, thanks and see you next time.